Johannesburg Stock Exchange introduced a new foreign referenced commodities product range called Quanto Futures, which enables investors to gain exposure to price fluctuations in the foreign commodity while shielding them from movements in the rand dollar exchange rate. The initial commodities are Brent crude, gold and copper. For more, Simone Blas, commodities trader, Rand Merchant Bank. You're really going to have to start from the beginning and unpack this, <laughs> not only for myself, but admit it, Wayne, also for, for you. I'm, I'm mm. too much of a dinosaur to know what uh, Quanto is. Well, you said it. What is a Quanto? It's actually, we're very, very excited about this product. It's actually a first in South Africa, so it really, really is something exciting to, to hit the market. Um, but Bromley, let's first just take a step back and see what is actually currently available to investors and how this actually differs. One of the biggest problems that investors face here is exchange control regulations, where any um, commodity has to be listed and settled in rands. So this would be fine, um, but what we have is a bit of a problem because of the negative correlation between commodity prices and the rand dollar. So what does this mean for you as an investor? Typically, what negative correlation now means is you want to view on the gold price. The gold price is rallying, looking good, except now, um, what tends to happen is the RAND tends to strengthen, so it actually dampens your returns. So you could not actually um, see the returns from the view that you actually wanted to express. Because you've got a negative currency effect, Exactly, line. exactly. So it, it essentially you've got a double exposure, which you didn't really want. What are we, we doing for you now? We're saying, right, we'll take out that currency element. What we will give to you is something that's a pure commodity exposure. Um, so basically what we're saying is, Say, for instance, you see gold trading at 1600s for the reference futures. With a, with a bear in mind, a bit of $1,600, I should say, with a bit of bid offer spread and our margins included, you'll see the RAND price trading at 1600 RANDs. What this means for you now is, say, for instance, gold rallies 10%, you'll see your future rally 10%. Doesn't matter what the exchange rate is doing. So it's a hedge against the exchange rate. Not necessarily a hedge. It's giving you the commodity exposure without the currency exposure. Do you understand, Wayne? I understand a little <laughs> bit. In other words, if the dollar price goes up 10%, it doesn't matter what the rand does, you're going to get 10% return. It depends what the commodity price does. I mean, if the commodity goes up 10% Correct. in dollars, you will get... Is it all priced in dollar reference? It, well, it is price reference to um, dollar contracts. Yeah. Your returns are in rands. Okay. Bearing in mind the exchange control, it has to be listed and settled in rands. Mm. We are doing that for you without the, the currency element. Okay. How have you found any demand for this? Because we've have, we have had commodities listed on the stock exchange and available to investors for the mm. while. But as you correctly point out, it's the rand value of commodities, not necessarily the capital value or the dollar value of commodities. How have you found the trading? Has there been some interest in it? There really has been interest because one of the biggest concerns about these inward listed commodities that, that were previously listed mm. is that investors weren't getting the exposure that they wanted. You were getting what we like to term asset contamination, where you want um, exposure to one asset, but you're actually getting exposure from another asset. So there really has been a positive response to these commodities. It's still very early days. We've only just started trading, so we've had a lot of um, interest in it. So we just hope that the volumes pick up and it, it's looking Are very good. Are we seeing some interest from retail investors? Is it specifically for retail investors, the product? Well, no, it's, it's mainly aimed at, um, at funds, asset management, um, but it really, you know, it's whoever is able to trade. It's, it's a great product that gives you the exposure that you want. And I think, you know, commodities is really um, coming to the front of investors' minds. It really is a hot topic lately, um, and people want that exposure. And now we're actually giving it to them. But now uh, an institution could <coughs> buy the commodity or buy a commodity future and then simply just take a forward out on the currency. Is that, is that essentially what's being done? No, because this is the only way to get um, exact exposure. If what you're suggesting is that you will um, buy the inward listed commodities that are currently available in the RAND terms and simultaneously hedge out the, the, the currency element with an additional currency future. There's a few problems with this. First of all, you actually have to execute two trades. Yes. Okay. Secondly, you're hedging out your currency exposure at that price. When the, now, as the commodity moves, you're gaining more currency exposure. So technically, to get that exact commodity exposure, you have to continuously hedge, keep hedging. So what we're saying is this is the perfect is, um, commodity exposure. Now, a little bit of a technical question. I mean, this is purely from a pension fund viewpoint. Is this an allowable asset? 
uh, under, the pen under the pension fund regulations because what we found quite often is that a lot of products come onto the market and they're good products mm -hmm. but the actual pension fund regulation or the what's called regulation 28 doesn't allow you to buy these or Restricts, restricts it in this category called other where there's an overall limitation as to how much you can buy. So if, there is, if the, this is not, not, it is listed, mm. can a pension fund buy it under Reg 28? Because that's all been changed now and I think you can take up to 10 or maybe even 15% in direct commodities. This has to fall under your foreign allowance. Okay. It still falls within that portion, okay. um, if that answers your question. Yeah. yeah, okay. Right, so it's up and running. How long has it been in play? Um, only a few days now. It was launched on the 25th of July, so it's still very much early days. Um, but it really is looking good. Uh, we've just listed the two contracts up front and we'll um, expand going forward. As you mentioned earlier, we've just got um, gold, Brent crude and copper to begin with. Once we see more interest in it, we'll, we'll th look at listing um, more, more products. Now, now Simone, where's the copper price going? <laughs> and I want to know where the gold price is going and where the oil price is going. Yeah, if you can give us that, then maybe you'll buy, you'll buy some of the product. Yeah, exactly. 100%. I think, yeah, I think it, yeah, that's the thing with the commodity market. It really is a tricky one to call. And it's very much been driven by what's happening in, in Europe lately and following that euro do and the dollar very, very closely. So it, it, it is a tough one to call. But if you have a view on it, we, we're giving you something that you can express that view.